Girlies, if this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Girl Beats World, and I would love it and really appreciate it if you could support my new channel by subscribing and turning on the little notification bell. Today, I am going to teach you all about how to use drugstore makeup to pull off a glam like this. All of the products are $11.99 or under, and I was able to order them right from Target.com. So, at the end of this video, you should be able to know exactly what products you need to start to be able to pull off a full face of makeup, and you'll learn some techniques on how to apply those products along the way. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get started. Okay, so let's jump right into this look. First, I'm going to start with doing a little bit of work to these brows and we're only using three products to get it done. I'm somewhat embarrassed, <laughs> but I'm using my uh, good old fashioned e.l.f. pencil and I'm just going to line up my eye with that. And as you can see, I'm not doing anything too dramatic just finding the natural shape and then I'll use the concealer to make it more or less dramatic. When your eyebrows are already looking a mess, you don't want to go too heavy with the darkness um, during this part. So just follow the natural shape of your brows, whatever they may be, and then you can get to sculpting using your concealer. All right, so this is my first time using this concealer. I am using my Infallible Wear um, from L'Oreal, and I'm also using an e.l.f. brush that I got from Target. It's $1, so it doesn't get more affordable than this. We're just going to pull that out. I don't know if this is my skin tone. I got all of this, like I said at the beginning of the video, in the mail, so let us hope and pray. All right. Okay, this, I can work with this. It's a little light, um, but unfortunately with drugstore, there's not too many options for the lovely ladies of my color. So when I go, um, when I use my mascara, this is a great test to see, okay, yikes, this is a little light for my taste. Um, I like just like a little more, um, like a creamier, like, coffee color oh yes okay and this color is toffee but um i don't know maybe my toffee is a little bit maybe i get toffee from a different place than l'oreal because my toffee don't look this light <laughs> uh but it's okay i'll show you guys how to work with it and how to use your other products to even it out if it does come out looking a little too light Next, I am using my e.l.f. Cosmetics um, Poreless Putty Primer. This is fairly new to the game. Um, and this is kind of what it looks like here. I don't know, when I thought putty, oh gosh, I just made this really dramatic. I thought it was gonna be, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't realize it was gonna be like creamy like this. This comes in a couple different colors, but I decided to go with the one with like a tint of pink, tan, I don't know exactly what you would, what you would describe it, but a little like peachy color because I didn't feel comfortable using like white um, primer. And it feels good, surprise, I'm really surprised at like how good and how nice this feels. Now that I have completed my eyebrows, um, used a little primer, I'm going to use um, my Maybelline Fit Me. And this is um, color 375 Java. Now, I don't have the little uh, top to squirt it in, um, but I am going to use just a little brush and just kind of lean it forward and just get a little bit of the product on there that way. If you are going to be using this brush all the time, I do recommend that you get um, you get the uh, one with the, the, the top to be able to squirt the product out so you don't have to do it the way that I did. So I'm just moving this product around a little bit using my foundation brush. And I should mention that all the brushes I'm using are either Morphe or RC Cosmetics. So they're super affordable as well. 
and um, I can try to link below. The Morphe set I got, I got directly from Ulta, so it is drugstore. You can go dire directly in there and um, get that. Now that I put that on with my um, foundation brush, my flat brush, I'm going to buff it out using my Morphe foundation buffer brush. And this just helps blend everything in. If you don't have any um, foundation um, brushes, you can use uh, a sponge for this and get the same type of effect. Now there are some foundations that have been released since that Maybelline has came out, but for drugstore, I feel like the widest range comes from the Maybelline Fit Me. Now I did use the matte, but there is a dewy just in case you have drier skin. Um, if you struggle with oily skin, you want to use the matte version. I have combination, um, but during summer and warmer days, even though I'm not spending much time outside lately, I do prefer to use a matte foundation. So just a few tips when you're trying to decide on your foundations. I personally say if you're a deeper skin tone or you struggle to find foundation matches, to go ahead and use that Maybelline Fit Me. Now I'm going back in with my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This was, this came in a lot of different colors and I wanted to switch it up so you guys can see a couple different products. This is $10.99, so um, you can get it from any local drugstore and I'm really grateful that it's not looking as light as it was in the beginning. So um, I don't wanna use too much because like I said, I don't think this is the exact shade for me. So just a little bit in my different, <laughs> let's not act like my forehead ain't got that much real estate. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna get a little bit more for the extra forehead real estate, you know what I mean. Now I'm using my um, Morphe concealer brush and I'm just going to conceal all over the eye, or underneath the eye, and I'm also going to go on top of the eye as well uh, because this is what I am going to use as my base. Another really great drugstore base is um, the NYX Cosmetics base and um, that runs about $6.95 but it is super portable. Okay, so this is worth mentioning. You want to move really fast with this product. Um, so when I pause to, like when I did underneath my eye, it was really fast. And so I was able to like move it around very easily. But when I paused to put the extra product on my eyes, um, the forehead kind of sat for a little bit and I, I am struggling to like move it around and I feel like it's getting like really, really white. But no worries, we have a solution for that. When you find yourself in a bit of a bind like me looking a bit ghostly, you want to make sure you use a deeper color concealer. This is also from e.l.f. and it's only $5.99. So I'm going to apply this concealer and use it as a bit of a contour. And I'm already not loving this very much, but uh, let's not worry. It can be used to shape up everything and to kind of add that even tone back into your skin. Now I know some of you use concealer that's this color on a regular basis you ain't got to do all that okay you ain't got to do all that um this is a nice soft glam look so just keep that in mind so i have a large um like fluffy foundation brush but i but i use it for my concealer and you can already see how that warms everything right back up so you don't have to worry if your concealer is a little lighter if your um t-zone concealer is a little lighter as long as whatever you're using to contour your face with has that deeper tone and i'm really impressed with this elf this looks really good l'oreal i'm i'm impressed with the coverage from the l'oreal i think this pairs really well together yeah look at ah this looks so good Sorry, I don't, I don't give up on drugstore. I got a little bougie, honey. Got me a little day job, got a little fancy, but I can't lie, this looks, this looks really good. Next for $5.99, we have our Wet n Wild Photo Focus Banana Powder that we're going to use in our T-zone. Just got it all over my black 
dress, but that's okay. The show must go on. We're gonna pack that in. And I will let you know, I mean, you will be able to see if I have flashback, okay? So, um, yeah, let's just put that all underneath, all over our T-zone. I recommend shaking it out um, with the top on because it did get all over me. <laughs> An even more affordable foundation that I'm going to use on the rest of my face is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. So um, finishing powder, as I've explained before, is really great to help with just making sure everything looks nice and smooth and airbrush. You don't want to skip on the finishing powder. If you notice that when you wear your makeup out and you start sweating, it starts like seeping into your pores, it looks cakey, it's because you're probably not using finishing powder. And we should probably look into what foundation you're using too. So definitely, definitely, definitely don't want to skip on this. There we go. That looks beautiful. Um, I'm also worried that this may be a little too light, so I'm not going to go. Oh no, this actually looks... I just can't get enough. So this is the color dark. I was worried that it was going to make me look um, red, but actually, this looks really good. I mean, sorry, but some of the Fenty foundation and powders that I've seen don't even look this good. Like, only because a lot of Fenty products have a lot of red undertones, which is great if you're dark skin with red undertones, but if you don't have red undertones, <laughs> it's not so good. So this is uh, amazing. Oh, I'm not giving this away. This is really, really good. Now the wet and wild was just I, right? You didn't see my reactions like going crazy and stuff, but this Maybelline Fit Me is so impressed let me tell you okay you can slap on some of this affordable eyeliner that I'm about to show you and some mascara and call it a day okay a little gloss on the lips oh no let's not get crazy let's not get crazy because I'm actually about to show you a product that I'm super excited about I am holding in the elf monochromatic stick this is apparently, it's in the color peach. Apparently you can use it as a lip, as a blush, as an eyeshadow. So maybe if you're nice to me, I'll show you uh, how, to do, how to do that. But um, this was only $3.99. Um, as you've seen in my um, 2020 trends, cream foundation or cream blush is all the rage. So I am going to just get it. Um, apply it and then rub it right on in using my finger and i'm gonna go a little heavier down here this is my first cream blush you know i stick to what i know but oh it's really pretty uh, look at that <laughs> i wish i could go outside for someone to see me <laughs> elf came through for 3.99 look at these look at that look at this oh honey <laughs> Y'all, y'all should have, I know drugstore changed it up like this, okay? When I was learning how to do my makeup, drugstore wasn't popping like this, but drugstore makeup is here to rock. And now for $7.99, I am using um, the Master Chrome um, by Maybelline. And um, it's shattered, actually. I would show you what the inside looks, but um, Target decided to mail me a bunch of stuff that broke. Um, they literally threw it into a box and, you know, delivered it. But in these Rona days, everyone makes mistakes, so I can't, I'm not going to be too mad at them. But we can still, oh, I love how beautiful that looks. Now, I do feel like it's overpowering my little peach now. So, honestly, with that peach cream blush, you really don't need, actually, look at that. Mm. Let me stop talking right now. You don't need a highlight, but ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with a little highlight. Look at, oh, Jesus. 
So now we're using our Maybelline Nudes Palette and this is Nudes of New York and this palette is pretty great. It's got all of these wonderful colors here and we're going to jump right in with using them. This palette is $11.99 and I did get it from Target along with the rest of the items from this video. Starting with the color Globe Trotter and using my Morphe blending brush, I'm going to, wow, this is really pigmented. Literally, I can't even tell you the last time I used um, like drugstore eyeshadow. <laughs> Not to sound like a snob, but I really can't. But I'm really happy that I'm doing this because it shows, you know, just how great, um, how far these companies have come along with pigmentation, especially for darker skinned women. Using that same blending brush, I'm going to tap into Boyer, which is like a deeper plum shade. Now I'm going to take my RC Cosmetics eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use a little bit of my NYX matte finishing spray and I'm going to just Spray a little bit on there. And I like to wet my brushes a little bit before tapping into like anything with a shimmer. And I'm doing that right before using the color Believer. Oh my gosh, this is so, 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 so pretty. Me life. And though we didn't cut, you do a cut crease, I'm just like shaping the eye as if I did because that's a little tip that you can use. Give your own eye the shape that you want. And when I add my eyeliner and wing that out, it's gonna look really good. So I just do a little mini eyeshadow wing. And I'm leaving the inner corner of my eye because I'm going to use the other side of that brush. <laughs> And some more of that matte finishing spray. I'm gonna spray some on. And then I'm going to tap into the color Believer. And put that at the inner corner of my eye. And a little bit down at the bottom as well. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is so pretty. And you know what? Let's get crazy. Let's pull Dreamer. Ooh, let's not get that crazy. All the way out a little bit. So like the middle corner of your eye. I'm really liking this. And then we can, we can get a little crazy and tap into Originator. And just put that at the very inner corner right here. Putting a little bit of that Boyer back on my blending uh, brush. I'm going to just blend everything out and then I'm going to tap into glow trotter because we got rid of that color a little bit and blend it all out. Now using a rounded um, brush I am going to use the color soloist and creator and I'm going to tap off a little bit and I'm going to highlight my brow with that. Now I'm taking my flat head brush and I'm going to dip into voyeur again and just smudge that on out underneath the eye, going a little bit underneath um, Dreamer and Originator. I'm so pleased by this. Like hardly any fallout, a lot of shimmer. This gives me the same type of vibes my um, Tati Beauty collection does. Like it's not as shimmery, but for the sequin colors, it's it's up there and that's an expensive palette. I'm going to knock out putting on the eyeshadow on the other eye and then I'll be back with eyeliner and lashes. I am now using my NYX Epic Liner in black and this liner costs $6.99. So we're just going to do our good old fashioned line. Oh, this is, no, this one I'm not as excited about. Going from 
Anastasia Beverly to this is tough, but only because like I, the, pre the precision's there. I like the felt um, tip of the liner. It's just not dark enough for my taste. But if you don't like a crazy dark liner, and this is a soft glam tutorial, so maybe that's a good thing, but I like my eyeliners to be really, really dark. Now I am using my Ardell Remy Lashes in the number 769. These lashes are $7.99, and I use my INB um, Lash Glue in black. Uh, I like black lash glue, I feel like it since I use black li um, liquid liner most of the time, or even like a black gel liner, I feel like it just works better. Um, these lashes, I like to put the, like you guys know, put the glue on for a little bit, let it sit for a while. I found that if I put it on before I do my eyeliner, it all kind of sits, uh, it's easier to let it stick on for me. And I'm just using um, some tweezers to get that right on there. Now, usually I use mascara before I put on my lashes. So if you can do that, it's preferred, but I forgot. So I'm using my last sensational from Maybelline. Maybelline's, you know, made a couple of appearances in this video. Um, I actually really like this uh, mascara. It is um, a little older, so. I can't say this is like a fair, fair look at it, but I'm not gonna do a crazy amount on my falsies because you only need to just make sure that your lashes are blended in nicely with it. And like I said, your lashes last longer when you do it beforehand. So do it beforehand if you can. For the lip today, I am using my NYX lingerie and I am also using NYX suede lip liner in the color Los Angeles. So I'm going to just ever so gently line my lip all the way across. I'm just going to deepen it with this suede. And we'll decide if we need a gloss on top after. The, and this color is Ruffle Trim. Ooh, Mama Likey. Yes, and with this Los Angeles, it looks really good. This is weird. The applicator is weird. I don't like the applicator. It's like, instead of being angled with like nice bristles, it's like flat. It's making it really hard to control. I don't like that. Okay, so I am going to add on um, some gloss. This is just some, like I said in some of my other videos, dollar uh, or maybe like $3 gloss from the beauty supply store. And we're gonna just add a little bit to the middle and gloss those lips right on up. Okay, girlies, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Like, it's been a long time since I've tried drugstore makeup. And to be honest, like, it, it it's a little triggering for me because for so long there weren't products that matched my skin tone or looked good on me or I had to mix a bunch of colors together. But look at this face. I feel like this looks just as good as my very expensive products. And I definitely plan on making more videos like this. Like, girl, you really can't tell me anything. <laughs> you really can't. So, um, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on that little notification bell. Until next time, bye girlies.